What are your thoughts on influences? And I'm using the word versus deliberately journalism. Um, I think they serve two very different audiences. Um, I don't have. I don't like the word influencer. I like content creator, but okay, let's say influencer. Let's call it what it is. <laughs> um, I just like. I don't like influencers who are only in it for the freebies and the to take. The cool photos with cars. I find that they. Um, oh, what is the word? It's. I can imagine that it's difficult for motion journalists and those influencers to exist in the same space on the same launch. Um, but I do think that there is a market for influencers. I don't know if they sell cars. They sell a lifestyle. I think. I don't think they sell products. Um, and. They go a long way in, in terms of like the brand building. Like if my like favorite influencers, whoever they may be, I don't know who they are, um, drove a Porsche Cayenne and they lived this outdoorsy life, then maybe like I'll be like, ooh, I want to live that outdoorsy life. Um, and then I'll be like, and, and then like the Porsche brand would be more top of mind because they mm. are pushing it so hard. But I wouldn't necessarily buy a Porsche because maybe I can't afford a Porsche. But it's definitely a good like brand building exercise for manufacturers. I I like that you bring up the term content creator, but I almost want to go. That's a third thing. Like they are influencers, but the definition you gave about posing with the cars and and having it in the background and so on, I think that's valid because they get that hashtag going. Mm. And like you say, it's like it's it's on the cusp of being news. You know, it's 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 there. And then you get journalists, ye old journalists. Uh, I'll get back to that in my mix, I will forget. Because I want to talk about content creators. Because I think that's something else. I think they get lumped with uh, influencers. Not that that's a bad thing. And I think they get lumped with journalists, depending on maybe the way the PR interprets mm -hmm. their, their mission. So I do think like... Like even I, I would love to just be a straight up content creator, but because I've got a, a journalistic background, I do have to write quite a bit as well, which is great. I do love writing. You're a great but writer. You, you're uh, very embarrassed. Thank you. <laughs> and then I want to get back to journalists because I think it's worth remembering that motor journalists aren't necessarily hard journalists. Mm. We are product journalists. Um, and... You know, we can we can deliberate and we can give an opinion on something, but we're not going out there. We don't have a beat that we walk and we're out there getting the news. So the distinction between someone who has an influence in the world of motoring versus an influencer, it's a smaller gap than you you maybe realize. Um, whereas playing that content creation space, that's a lot of fun. You know, mm. you could do podcasts, you could do videos, photography. And I would say that pretty much everyone in the other two camps could kind of like blur the line a little bit. Yeah. I think also, I do think that like people who read the work of motion journalists and people who um, look at the content that is produced by influencers and maybe even like content creators are different people. I think a lot of like, Petal heads, for lack of a better term, and people who just want like, knowledge of cars for the sake of having knowledge of cars, read what motoring journalists have to say. I think people who want to make a car buying decision would more often than not actually, actually base it on a lifestyle that they want and therefore most likely what an influencer is driving, what content they are seeing, being out there like by content creation, um, being out there as a result of content creation. Um, but if they want like hard facts on the car, I mean, you can just get a brochure from a dealership. Um, <laughs> no one knows what that means. You mean Google, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, go yeah, on the yeah, internet, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, for sure, like, we, that's the other thing. You know, you, let's say person A is a motoring journalist, but all they really need to do is aggregate enough content from world stage motor journalists and go, this is my thoughts on it based on what they think, mm. and get away with it. And and I know people that have pretty much done that for their whole career and played it safe. And they will literally go on a launch with you and go, what did you think of that car? Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
oh, I disagree, but my story is filed. <laughs> so there's there's a lot of, of of that, I guess, versus well, not neither none of them are, are better than the other. I just feel like it doesn't have to be antagonistic. It's actually quite a cool space. Um, so as you'll know, I've not just been doing things on, let's call it this side of the lens. Mm. I've also been doing on, on that side of the lens. So I've been working with manufacturers producing content, not in competition with other content creators, but like for my client, mm. my client being the manufacturer. So if I, I've had to play with and coordinate with influencers, journalists, and content creators. And I, I gotta tell you, it's not as different as they think it is. It's not as polarized as they think it is. We're all just telling stories about cars. I will tell you one thing about influencers though. They work hard. They hustle hard. And it's like, and it's just, everything is work. Everything is work. I Eating know. lunch is work. I know. I get so Getting tired. Getting in the cars or everything. And I don't, like, it must be exhausting. I don't, I don't envy it. Work. Everything is work. Wait, I know I said I, I don't envy it. Let me be realistic. Let me be honest. I, I would fucking die. It's, you are working it's constantly. So like, do you even it's, taste that hors d'oeuvre? Yeah. Or did you just take a photo? Hors d'oeuvre? What, like, what a word. Just, I googled it, it before. I did, oh, you used I it as used well. It oh, we must live in the same house. <laughs>